around in beautiful people. So what I want to talk to you about today is what I've been doing a lot of research on lately. And I guess because it's holiday time and we see so much of it happening around this time of year, um, depression is huge right now. Um, and obviously ever since the pandemic, we've seen a lot more mental health cases um, coming through the healthcare facilities. And you've probably seen it and heard it with your friends and your families. So um, I wanna give some attention to depression. And obviously I always link food to everything. So I wanna talk about the link between nutrition and depression. There's tons of research articles, tons. I mean, I can't even count how many I've read, how many I've <laughs> critiqued, how many I've pulled apart. Um, looking at the different methodologies, um, making sure that it's sound research. But there's so many articles that all stand on the fact that your nutrition is linked to depression symptoms. And so what that means is your diet plays a big part in your mental health. And I know sometimes that's hard for people to believe, but it's so true. And you can prove it by doing a little experiment, right? So you know how you feel after you eat a really big meal and you're just worn out, exhausted, stuffed, and all you wanna do is go to sleep, right? Okay. Now think about how you feel after you eat a complete plant-based meal. It's not the same feeling. You feel satiated, you feel satisfied, but you don't feel full, stuffed, and wanna to go to sleep. You actually have more energy, or you should have more energy. Let me tell you why. So when you eat foods that are high in sugar and chemicals and the processed foods, foods that are basically genetically modified, which is really not foods. It's, it's chemicals that's made in a lab and it's filled with salt and sugar to get you addicted to it because people get addicted to the things that taste good, right? The things that feel good. So when you overwhelm your physiology, your anatomy with chemicals and sugar and salt, what happens is you slug your system. So you feel drained because your body is not meant to work that hard to break down food. So that is why you feel the sluggish feeling when you eat a huge meal filled with a lot of starches and sugars and things like that. Now on the other hand, when you're eating plant-based foods, when you eat a meal full of plant-based foods, you have that surge of energy. The reason for that is all of your synapses that's going on in your body is attracted to the vitamins and the minerals that you get from the plants. If you think about it, plants typically get their source of energy from the sun, right? The heat is what energizes the plants, okay? So we know that the human body is typically about 98.6 degrees. So you eat plants, you consume plants, and what happens is the heat that's in your body activates the vitamins and minerals and all of those nutrients almost explodes in your synapses like, okay, yay, <laughs> we having a party, it's time to wake up, we being fed, this is a good time. And so that is why you have the energy when you're eating plant-based foods. So let's go back to this depression. Now we already got the sluggish feeling when you're eating all of the wrong foods, right? And then we got the energy when you're eating the right foods. Let's go back to your mental health. So oftentimes we don't even realize it, but subconsciously we know what we should be eating and what we shouldn't be eating. And whenever we're eating things that we shouldn't be eating, subconsciously, we are holding on to the fact that, okay, we did something wrong. This is not good for my body. And what that does is, mentally, it triggers sadness. 
because there's this conviction there's this guilt that I've done something I shouldn't have done so that plays a huge role in when you're making a decision about what you're eating you may not think you feel bad about eating what you're eating but you know before you take that bite of that burger of that hot dog a sip of that cold drink whatever it is you know it's not good for you you know it's bad for your body and so when you do that you're subconsciously going to feel a sense of sadness because you've done a disservice to your body whether you admit it or not that's what's happening mentally for you so when you look at all of the research and I can't even put half of the articles that I've read on this just google the link between nutrition and depression and you'll see all the articles come up it tells you how the food that you eat is so connected to how you feel and your mental health so I wanted to quickly jump on and say that when we're having conversations about food not being the center of everything and it's really about your connections with people the reason for that is because food determines other things that can either be good or bad for you and if you just take a minute to think about your diet and knowing that everybody wants to eat right right the, the whole problem is what's considered right because there's so many different fads out here there's so many different diets that you can try most people are trying diets based on weight they want to lose weight and that's why people are trying diets but what I do is not about a diet it's about a lifestyle it's about what place does food have in my life and how do I allow that to benefit my body that I was given? How do I take care of my body with the thing that I know I need? And if you need food for energy, give it the right energy. Because honestly, if you go back to the first part of eating the processed foods and all the chemical and sugar heavy foods, and you get the opposite of energy, like you get sluggish and tired and you wanna go to sleep, then you're not giving your body what it needs. And then that's why an hour later you're hungry again. So just wanted to give y'all that food for thought. I know, you know, a lot of people are dealing with um, struggling with mental health issues because of, it's, you know, it's the holidays coming up. A lot of people have lost loved ones. Um, there's a lot of people that can't be around um, friends and family. And so if it's one thing that you can actually do to help mitigate those feelings of sadness and depression, give your body what it needs to give you the energy that it needs. It definitely makes you feel a whole lot better. I mean, I'm not saying that it's a magical cure to everything, but I honestly do believe that food is a cure to a lot of things. I believe that with everything in me. And you have to just try it for yourself. You, you have to do a test for yourself okay. whether you want to say let's do a week with just eating plant-based foods and see if there's a difference in how I feel you'll definitely feel a difference if you're accustomed to eating a lot of sugars and um, a high carbs and um, simple sugars simple carbs a lot of meat a lot of dairy I can almost guarantee you if you stop doing that for a week straight and eat plant-based foods and fill your diet with plant-based foods that you will definitely feel better in your body and your mental health. I've done it so many times and it's not just me doing it myself. There's so many evidence-based, science-proven research that shows that this is what actually is needed for our bodies. So just wanted to quickly get on there and um, talk to you guys about that. I hope you found some of this helpful. I hope you actually um, take into practice some of the things that I said. I hope it works out for you. If you do try something, please leave me a comment and let me know how it works out for you. I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and send this video to someone you love. I'll talk to you guys soon.